Welcome to your weekday cup of the word. We're in Proverbs chapter 31. This is probably the most recognizable and beloved of all the chapters in Proverbs. Up until this point, we've had a lot of discussion of women in a negative sense. Uh, the, the, the wicked woman, the contentious woman, uh, these type of women that cause problems. This chapter makes up completely for all of those. It is the counterbalance for it. This is the worthy woman. This chapter is written by King Lemuel, and it is all about the character of the kind of woman that, first of all, men should seek out to marry, and the kind of, uh, of woman that is a blessing to all around her. She is uh, hardworking and uh, doesn't have an ounce of laziness about her. She is uh, thoughtful and prepared. She is discreet and careful with her words and makes those around her better for her presence, including her husband. Her husband is uh, seen in the gates. The gates were where the rulers were, and the idea is, is because of the quality of woman she is, she is helping her husband to be the kind of person that is respected and in a position of dignity. She gives honor to her children, and they all rise up and call her blessed. She is a loved woman for the quality of life she has. Uh, has chosen to live, and she has a hope about her. She she laughs, she smiles at the future that is ahead. She, do, she doesn't have this pessimism or cynicism about her. She is a, a person that has chosen God, chosen righteous living, chosen integrity, and chosen a life of service. And in every area, she has changed the world for the better for her being there. That is the, the quality of woman that God desires for women to be, and it shows the elevated position, biblically, of a righteous woman, that she is capable of doing so much good for so many through her, her godly behavior, not her physical beauty, but her inner beauty that doesn't fade, but grows closer to God each day. That's your daily cup. That's the end of Proverbs. Congratulations, and we'll see you back in Psalms tomorrow.